Hi, today we will all learn about the ANOVA testing in R and analyze how it can be useful for analytical purposes. So suppose I have a few data sets in hand and I want to find out how the variation among the values in the data set happens. So suppose if I have three or more set of uh, numbers, I want to analyze how the variation occurs among the numbers present in the same group and between different groups as well. So suppose I have A1 as my first group. So let's say A1 is 10, 12, 24, 33 and 21. So these are five numbers which is present in the first data set. Similarly, I have A2 which is a vector containing a few more numbers say 22, 34, 65, 63, uh, 31. Similarly, I have another data set A3 is equal to 1. So if you observe these three set of numbers, there is variation within each of these three vectors. So A1 itself has some variation among these five numbers. A2 also similarly for A3. However, they also have variation among themselves. So A1, A2 and A3, they are all distinct in terms of the variation between any two of them also. So the variation is also from A1 to A2 or from A2 to A3 and so on. So the idea behind the ANOVA test is to find out how the variation occurs between um, these two types. So there is a variation between a set of numbers and also that is within a group and there is also variation between the groups. So within a group I mean say if A1 is a group there is some variation within this group and there is also some variation between the groups. So if I have A1 and A3 there is some variation between these two groups. So the idea is to find out and to split how the variation between each group is different from the variation between two groups. So for that let us first have a combined data set. So I have a data of, I put it into a data frame. So say data dot frame is equal to C bind. I put them as columns and correct. So the data is like this. So I have A1, A2, A3. So all of these are stacked. So with the stack operation, we can find out how the uh, the stacking of all these occurs. So say s is the variable which takes a stacked value for all this. Say for the data which I have. <coughs> and these are the individual values and the values and, their, uh, and the category to which they fall. So the group from which they belong to. So this is a set of all the individual values and their own groups where they belong to. Now there's a function known as the AOV function in R, which will help us to split the variance between the groups and between the groups. So suppose result is equal to RES is equal to AOV, we'll use the AOV function. And I want to do it like values should be explained by the variable ind which is capturing the group to which each of these variables belong and the data set which i will use is s so with this tag data set i i will not work on uh, the data set data because they, that is in the data frame form that is why we've created the stack version of it and with the help of this data set s we'll do it and then we see result or say summary of result and then we have that the variable ind has a degrees of freedom 2, residuals have a degree of freedom 12 and the f value for degrees of freedom in the numerator being 2 and the denominator being 22 is 5.856. The p value is 0 0.01 which is less than 0 0.05. That means we can reject the null hypothesis. Now, this high value of f, what does it imply and what inference can we make from it? So the p-value being less than 0.05, that means we can reject the null hypothesis. 
that means the means of any two groups are different so basically here the null hypothesis what we are testing against is that the null is that the mean for all these groups are same so we want to find out that there are three groups a1 a2 and a3 we want to find out whether there is any significant difference between the groups or not that means if i take a1 and if i take a3 the mean of a1 and the mean of a3 are they really statistically significant or not so had there been two groups we could have easily taken a t test and done it but here because there are three groups and we want to analyze it among three groups we will use the anova test and that the this f value will reflect whether we can reject or accept the null hypothesis so the p value being less than 0.05 means that we can reject the null the null here is that we uh, the null here is stating that there is uh, no difference between the mean of two groups that is the mean of all the groups is same so basically we are rejecting this null and we are saying and our final conclusion is that the mean of all the groups is not the same so that means they are statistically different from each other so how do we find these degrees of freedom the degrees of freedom for this the first one for this is captured by the number of groups minus 1 so we have the number of groups is 3 a1 a2 a3 they are three groups minus 1 is 2 so the degrees of freedom for i and d is 2 now for the residuals the degrees of freedom is given by the number of observations minus the number of groups so we had in total 15 observations and three groups so 15 minus 3 is equal to 12 so the f value corresponding to degrees of freedom 2 comma 12 is equal to 5.856 with a p value of 0 0.05 at which we will be rejecting the null hypothesis the conclusion is that the means of the groups are of each of these groups are statistically different from each other and they are not the same thank you so much